the next thing I'm going to do is let's start commenting um, our ending divs so we can kind of figure out where we're at. You can see once these divs start piling up, uh, it's hard to figure out just by the naked eye where these belong to. So let's go ahead and see, this is the nav. You can label these um, ending div tags however you want. This is uh, how I'm going to do it in this. In fact, I'm going to this all capital so it stands out a little better. We'll go ahead and just copy this comment. And we'll paste it here. And this is end header. And let's find our next one. And wrap links. And content and and bucket one and save time. Let's go ahead and recopy this so we can just swap out the number and bucket two. three and in bucket four now down here um, it's kind of hard to figure out where we're at I mean I know where we're at right now but um, one thing you can do with Dreamweaver and some other uh, IDEs for HTML um, so you can kind of collapse code and if we highlight um, from this div to the end you know just the starting and closing of this div and we hit this minus sign it'll shrink that whole chunk there and let's do it again with this div and for the wrap links let's do that and we'll do it for the content and we'll hide the bucket one and we'll hide bucket two and we'll hide bucket three. Oops. And we'll hide bucket four. And now you can kind of see why I did that. Now we can see what these uh, ending divs belong to. So let's go ahead and paste. And this is end wrap buckets. And paste again. And this is end wrap overall. And we can just come in here and expand these. I believe there's a probably an expand all option somewhere. Alright, so we've got all that put back together. And we'll go ahead and save. And the last thing we're going to do before we start getting into Photoshop again and, and kind of cutting up our graphics and figuring out how we're going to uh, do that is we're going to come back over to our CSS. Um, if you're using Dreamweaver CS4, um, possibly even CS3 and up, um, there's a nice uh, little feature where they any linked documents will show up here right next to the source code here. Granted we already have it open up here but we can also come over here and see it. So let's go to our CSS and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this little comment block and come down here after line 30 and paste it and let's say general signs in here. There we go. And this is where we're going to set up our general template classes, which pretty much be every div we just made. Now how you organize your CSS document is truly up to you and uh, any team you might be working with. Um, 
but really really do try and come up with your own um, you know standard so that you can come into any of your websites you know whether from yesterday or 10 years from now or ago anyways and you know be able to navigate pretty well through the document uh, anyway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna get first we're gonna get our wraps and just give ourselves a line and I don't remember what the next one was let's do our wrap overall and we'll do our wrap links and then wrap buckets next for content right blanks um, all right now our bucket um, and the next block of CSS we're gonna do um, will probably be call it navigation let's call it general navigation rules get rid of a couple pound signs here and we'll get now we're going to address our nav links uh, our navigation lists and these are a little lengthy um, we're gonna do nav main and ul and what this is gonna do is it's gonna say inside that nav div this is a rule for the any unordered list inside the nav main um, div um, let's go ahead and copy this and we'll paste it a couple of times. Um, and that should be good. And the reason I did this is we're just going to add a couple of things to the ends of these. We're going to do li for list item. And then we're going to do li and a for link. And li a. Hover. Um, and then the next one we're going to do is our wrap links. So let's just go ahead and copy this whole block here and paste it. And we'll just change this to wrap links. And then we can just copy that name and replace these two three and now we have our rules set up for the navigation and save that and let's copy this comment junk here and paste it down here and let's just call this general list rules the uh, use this chunk here for 
these uh, features here. So let's go ahead and give a class name to this list. Um, no, actually, we can just go ahead and build it off of the um, bucket here. So actually, instead of general list rules, since we only have one area for lists, let's go ahead and just call this bucket rules. And we'll say bucket ul. And bucket ul li, unordered list, list item. Um, and then let's do, let's go back to our source code. We have our cost paragraph here. Let's go ahead and give this a class. And we'll call this cost. And let's go ahead and copy this little block here. And come and paste it in each one of these paragraph tags for cost. And let's go ahead and save. Control S. Come back to our CSS. And let's go ahead and make a rule for that. Say bucket p dot cost. And what that's going to do is say inside the bucket div any paragraph with the class name cost. Um, there's a couple different ways we could have done this. We could have just said any paragraph in here and got rid of the cost. Um, but in the event that we would want to add any other paragraph tags into uh, that div, we would, you know, be in trouble there. Um, so we're just going to strict, um, strictly assign this rule to that one paragraph. And let's go ahead and save again. We're going to be doing some more classes uh, eventually once we start getting the images in here and get an idea of where we need to go with this. Um, so for now, let's just toss some generic text in here, um, some of which we will probably replace with images um, and other items, uh, but just so we can kind of get a feel for the way our site's going to look for the next portion of this series. Let's say heading one inside the header. Let's go ahead and change the names here. So we have basic economy. Deluxe. save and let's go ahead and upload this and I'm going to teach you another shortcut that's very handy uh, you can really fly through the upload process by using this and that is control shift U and that uh, essentially that will put the document that we are editing right now to the server and uh, you know you might say well we've been editing the CSS too well, in this case, we can utilize the upload dependence option. So, Control Shift U, and it's going to ask us if we want to put dependent files, and we're going to say yes this time, and it's going to put both our files up. Now we can flip back over to our browser, refresh the page, and since we haven't applied any um, attributes to those classes, we you know, everything's going to be kind of uh, in a straight line here down the down the page. But you can kind of see, you know, starting to get an idea of how these blocks are going to work. And now we're just going to need to, you know, tell the page where we want these things and how we want them to look. And that's going to be the next portion of this series um, when we go into Photoshop and start cutting up our images. And we'll talk about uh, how 
how to um, you know use tact when you're um, cutting things up um, and to save um, load time and everything um, and thank you we'll see you in the next uh, portion of this series <laughs>